Hi, my name is Steve Halfpenny from Light Hands Equitation. One of the questions we get asked a lot is, uh, is posture, what should my posture be? Well, I'd like to look at the, the pictures of the Spanish riders and how they sit on a horse, and that's my ideal mind picture of posture. But if you were, you know, if you had long hair and somebody picked you up by the hair and placed you on the horse where all your vertebrae just hang straight down underneath you, but it's not a forced position, that's how I'd, you know, I'd like to sit. I can't always maintain that because if the horse uh, moves you off that position, then you're always trying to get back to it. But if I'm dead center with weight on my seat bones evenly, then that's my cue to my horse that he should be going dead straight. Now, unless he has deviations in his spine that we need to work on, that should help him go dead straight. So even weight on left and right seat bones, shoulders in line with my hips, try not to slouch. But, but again, don't have that picture of, you know, somebody's put the broomstick behind your back and through your arms. You shouldn't be stiff in that position. If I want to turn my horse then from that position, I should transfer more weight to the inside of the curve that I'm going to go on because horses contract around pressure. So if I put pressure on the right side of his muscles on his back, he's probably going to contract those. So as I walk off, I'll walk forwards just taking the weight more on the right he's already flexed to the right i've worked a lot on this you know so he starts to understand if my seat changes i don't want to use my reins all the time so right now this is and my right side is something i'm working on a lot at the moment because none of us are symmetrical you know we're always working on that trying to have symmetry in our bodies but most of us have got some sort of issue that puts us out of symmetry so I'm coming around to the right, my right hip is back a little, my left hip is forwards, and my legs are just hanging below my hips. So that should basically have one leg back and one leg forwards without you really working hard at that. And if I want him to go forwards, I'm just driving him softly with both legs. If I just use one leg, then I'd like him to go laterally. So just from that nice circle, that's pretty well the same posture that I need to maintain for anything with the right bend. So even if I was taking him, leg yielding him, my posture should stay the same because we're bent to the right. If I was going to take his hindquarters to the inside of the circle, that could be quite hard, but I'm still trying to keep my hips in the same position. I might put my left leg back a little and try and get his hips in. I'm not doing it right now, but I'm just talking about it. You know, that, that it's really important that I stay there, otherwise if I change sides, which I'm about to do, I'm coming through the middle, straightening myself up, got my seat bones in the middle, we're going straight, then I'm going to start putting weight down on the left seat bone, my horse starts to bend to the left. So if I change sides the way I used to do, I used to be told you always get your weight on the side of the horse that you're trying to push away from. So if I was pushing my horse left to right, I'd always have my weight on the left, no matter what shape he was in. Well, I've discovered that that was incorrect, you know, so as I change my weight, he is going to try and bend his body around that. So some of the problems that he was having were, was my lack of understanding of where I should be sitting. So if I want more hind, <coughs> then my body's going to twist even more. So I'm, at the moment I'm twisting a little more and I'm bringing my left hip back in time with his left hind leaving the ground and just helping that hind reach under. My lower leg's not even touching him, but he can feel just that downwards and backwards pressure on my left seat bone, asking that left hind to reach under further. And I get back in the center, trying to be all upright again, get my posture, slide over to the right side of the saddle, but keep, try and keep the column of your spine upright. My shoulders are sort of matching whatever his shoulders are doing. So if he's flexed to the right, my shoulders should be to the right. And this can be hard. So even if I'm taking his shoulders to the outside, I need to be able to move my head and neck to the left, but not my shoulders because his shoulders are flexed to the right. So just because I'm going left doesn't mean my shoulders have to go left. My head does because that's, if I'm going that way, I should be looking that way. So it's just my focus changes. Now, if I want him to come around more with his front end and less with the hind end, 
then I'm going to exaggerate my outside front leg forwards more to reach to help him reach across with his front leg. And it should end up eventually just being my posture at the moment. If I want to help him, I'm getting in time with his feet. You now, so as I put my right leg forwards, I'm coming around to the left again now. My weight's on the left seat bone. As that left front gets ready to come over, I'm just putting a little pressure on with my outside leg and inside rein. You know, and I could take him down into a, a spin like that and then walk him out. I'm going to do that again because I should have walked him out a little earlier before he lost his hip. Okay, now my weight's coming to the right. It's going to re there, rearrange his body. So this is probably one of the later things that people seem to work on. If your horse is not relaxed, it's going to be really hard for you to be focused completely on your posture. You know, I need to be relaxed and trust my horse enough that I can just focus on where I should be sitting and not what he's doing. So there's a time for this. You know, if you're really worried about the horse, then work on the horse more than yourself. But that's it. Now I've put the reins in one hand and I'm just working on if I can keep my seat back, my shoulders back, we should keep coming to the left. If I straighten up with my whole body, then he straightened his body. I have to shorten the rein a little if as I come around to the right. There, so I've brought my right hips back. So there's not an awful lot of changes that I need to do with my posture. Basically, you're sitting on the side that you would like to be curved, or, but you, you're not leaning. You know, you don't lean with your upper body. One of the things that sort of helped me a little when I first tried to learn this was when you really push down on your seat bones, your upper body tends to lean. Like if I really try and push my hips to the right, my shoulders usually go to the right. If I try and push my hips to the left, my shoulders go to the left. It helps me to think of taking some of the weight out of my left seat bone. So lifting my left side of my hip up a little bit helps me keep my body more upright. I'm straightened up through the middle. I'm in the middle of the saddle. Now I'm weights to the left. I'm lifting up on my right side of my pelvis just to focus on the upper column of my body staying straight. If you play with this and just try all those different things, you'll notice your horse will behave differently. And some things help you maintain your seat upright and some things sort of cause you to lean. The other thing I don't like doing a lot is using an awful lot of lower leg because that pushes my body around. I tend to just bump a little, you know, so if I need more leg, I just bump rather than push harder and harder and harder and then find myself leaning. So that's a quick overview on posture. Hopefully that's of some use to you. And again, uh, watching the video is going to be great help. Okay, some of the common things I think you'll probably find you'll, you'll do wrong is you'll, you'll look down. Most people look down. You know, so as soon as they look down to see what my horse is doing, I tend to do it as well. Like if you, if you think his nose is stuck out, you'll, you'll have a look where the head position is. And as soon as my head goes forwards, puts an arc in my back and I load the forehand instantly. So that hampers my horse. Lots of people ride like they're riding a motorcycle or a, or a bicycle. You know, they're going to go right or left and they come around and they lean and then they start to turn to the right and they come around, they straighten up and then they lean to the left and they start to turn. So I've, I've put my weight way on the inside of him. You know, and some of the theory is, you know, that his, he should get back underneath me. But having ridden him a little bit differently than that just recently, this feels awful right now. While I'm around horses watching what's available to me and it became obvious a long time ago that people are not really aware of what's available to them in the horse they already own. And we all have that if only we had a, a great horse then we could have a good time with them. But every horse has the potential to do some amazing things. And I see my job as helping people understand how to unlock that potential in their horses.